Hello there my mending friends, it's Amy from Muddy Boots Maker. I am doing a mending month of March so you will be seeing some videos here as well as um, a few little life vlogs. Um, most of them will be going up on Patreon um, which you can check out and you can just subscribe for the month of March or maybe wait till the end of March and then you can binge them all. <laughs> but I will be preserving and um, as we go into autumn here there is lots of food. But I must prepare for the colder months and I have a lot of mending to do here on our homestead. I have just repaired five pairs of my husband's farm pants and I'm about to repair this pair of pants of my son's and as you can see there is a big tear in the knee part and there is also a little bit of wear and tear where the pants have scuffed on the ground at the back of both of the legs. So I'm going to be patching these today and I wanted to take you along with me. Now I have this big collection of squares and rectangles that I have cut from my husband's old work pants. In fact one of these is a leg from Samuel, my son's old jeans. So I might use these for the patch on these pants. Okay, so I'm going to grab my beautiful scissors, merchant and mill scissors. These are fantastic fabric scissors and you can sharpen them beautifully. Mine actually do need sharpening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along the seam of these old pants to make a patch for the other pants. So I'm going to go along the side of the seam on the other side. Might help to turn it inside out to see where the seam is and where you have to go along. That should do us there. Now this is quite thin around these areas here. You can see how the fabric is changing colour and it's also, it feels softer. It sort of feels quite soft up to about here and to about here. So I'm going to want to patch this area with hopes that I won't have further tears in this knee. So I'm going to want to patch over the whole um, rip in the jeans. I'm just going to cut this to size. I also should have pointed out one of my big things is that I recommend people to use exactly the same type of fabric as the garment. Okay, so it is a new day. I had difficulties with my camera equipment last night, so I couldn't finish filming um, the mend that I'm doing here. So I'm not sure where I finished off, but basically I've popped the thread through and I'm doing a whip stitch around the big rip in these pants. So I'm just doing that basic whip stitch going along like this. Oops. Like so. And I like how it organically occurs. I like how the stitches aren't all the same length. I'm sort of aiming for, you know, a similar length in the stitch, but yeah, I, I, as I said, I'm not like drawing a straight line. It is definitely a creative stitch job. So I'm just going to continue in this manner. 
I'm going to go all the way along here and then I'm going to go across this little part here and then I will come back along here and go down the other side and that is the beginning of this mend so I will check in once I have completed this and I will show you what I do for the rest of the patch because the patch is this big and it's going to cover the whole entire worn part of these pants so I will check in with you after I've finished my whip stitch okay now I have finished the whip stitch so I've gone all the way down here, around here and back again and I've got the ends to my threads just here waiting to weave in at the end. So I just leave those there for now. Um, this little part of the pants though, I will just cut that little thread off there. Okay, so now we are almost ready to begin the running stitch that I'm going to do up and down and covering this entire patch that we have out to here. Now to do this, you can just do it freehand, um, but some people might choose to draw some lines and follow the lines. I like to do freehand um, on these types of things because again, I like the sort of organic way that the um, stitches look. I don't need them to be absolutely pristine. And what I've done here is I have pushed these needles into the cardboard underneath and this sort of keeps it stable I've taken the needles out from behind the pants so I can do the running stitch all the way down and I can move the cardboard when I need to so I can move it down further because that's where the fabric ends here and each time I move it I'll just stick the pins in to keep it in place Okay, so I'm going to push the cardboard back to this end and then I'm just going to pop a few pins in to hold it in place and what we're going to do is get our thread. So I got a new piece of thread when I was doing the whip stitching and I'm going to go in and out along here so just in and out now this is where it might come in handy to have a thimble or something so I have these two thimbles here one of the both of these are used mainly for pushing this needle through like so but I'm going to use this one here to help pop the needle out. So I'm going in and out, in and out, in and out, and then pulling through. Now this is moving around a bit and I'm coming to the other side. So I'm just going to bring the cardboard down here. It would be ideal if I had a piece of cardboard that was this size of the leg but I currently do not. So we make do with what we have. So we just continue in this manner, going back and forth all the way along. And it's up to you how wide you do the rows. And we'll come back this way. So I'm going to leave a small amount of space between and when I head back this way, I'm going to go in and out in the gaps of the first row. 
just adding a little bit of a design by doing that. Another way you could do this is to place your hand inside and you can use one of your hands on top and one in the inside of the pants and do it along like this. Um, it might end up a little bit more organic than you um, were hoping for doing it this way um, but once you get used to it you should be fine and then when you come back this way oops you're gonna want to pop your hand through the bottom like so and then work your way back So you can also just take the cardboard back out again and you just want to make sure that you've still got that patch right there so that you're actually stitching the patch onto the back and just go along like this. And then just making sure when you pull it through that you stretch it out again and the thread is laying flat. If you had a smaller patch, you could also use some embroidery hoops and you could pop these over the area and go along. But because this area is quite big and it takes up to the sides um, I can't really use an embroidery hoop unless I decide to come in and do the outside parts later um, but this method um, is probably not the best for what I'm trying to achieve here but as you can see it's starting to look really nice and I'm going to continue on this running stitch and I will show you when I am done. Okay, so I have finished the running stitches and now I need to turn this inside out and weave in all these ends. And I need to trim the patch a little bit because I didn't do all the way to the edge. So let's have a look at what it looks like on the inside. So here we go, here's the patch, I'm just going to cut this little part here, making sure I don't cut any of the stitches, oh there's one of the stitches there, actually that's one of the ends I need to weave in, so that's fine, just try and make sure I don't cut that bit. There we go. And I'm going to leave this part here, that's fine. This is a little long though, so I'm going to give this part a trim. Okay, now let's have a look at all these ends that I need to weave in. So here's an end another end, another end, there's an end there and there and there and there. Okay so how I sew in these threads is pretty simple. Just going to pop the thread on my needle and I'm just going to weave in underneath these stitches here. So I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit. You can even go under the fabric a little bit 
where um, it's not going to show on the other side. Okay, and then give that a trim. And then I just follow along with that on all of the other ends of the thread. And just continue doing that with all of these threads and then I will show you what it looks like in the end. Okay, and there we go. We have one knee mended and doesn't that look just lovely, really? It's just adding a little character to the pants. And now we've got this section here that I'm going to patch. So I'm just taking off all the little threads and I'm just cut a small patch here that I'm going to place directly over here and I'm going to make sure that it's even on both sides because we are going to stitch directly through all of the fabric in one go with this piece. So I'm just going to pin it in place making sure that it is firm against the edge of the pants. And on this side. Okay, I have some thread on a needle here and let's work this piece. So I'm gonna come in again away from the area that I'm mending and I'm gonna come into it at the edge of the patch and then we're just going to do a running stitch all the way along. Okay, so I've done one row of stitching and now I'm going to work back. I've come out just slightly above this row that I've just done and I'm going to go in and do the next row. Oof, it's pretty thick because we've got three layers in here so you want to make sure you have a sharp needle and then I'm going to come out again a bit further down to do the third row turn it around and go back this way I'm going to take this pin out and in we go for another row of running stitch and coming back out making room for the next row so coming out just a little bit further away and going back again so I just continue this way until I have come to the end of the hem. And oh, this is very, um, very, very thick. So I definitely need a bit of help moving the needle through. Help from my little thimble. There we go. And there we go, we have a stitched patch and there is the inside. 
So I'm just going to sew this thread in on the inside. Just put it in and back in a bit to tie off the end. And then the other thread also needs to be popped through. And there we go, all fixed. Um, you could, of course, go over this with the sewing machine if you wanted to do that. Um, you could also do the stitching that I've done here around the outside and then do some running stitches on the inside. You could go up and down this way. Um, you could do any sort of design you really wanted to. Um, I love the look of running stitch. I find it very pleasing to the eye and I particularly like it when you're working with a darker patch and you have the lighter thread on top. I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to do the same on this side and then these pants are all ready to wear. So I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration on how I wanted to mend these pants. I'm really, really pleased with how they look and they are going to last many, many more years. Mm -hmm.